man. Listen, right. Man, let me get back on this finesse shit and this motherfucking NBA young boy, bro. Listen, man, I done been through everything it is under the sun, right? And when I look at this shit, it's like this, man. Y'all need to patch that shit up and let it go. Bro, apologize. Five word words have been said. Patch that shit up and let it go, man. You know what I'm saying? There's no need to beef over it. What's said is done, it's done, it's done, right? Um, and that's just real talk. But I know one thing. If a nigga call himself your friend, my nigga, and he try to fuck with your bitch behind your back, that nigga rob and kill you, nigga. It's the same thing. Niggas don't play about, you know, for real, man. See, niggas think they so much of pimps. For real. For real. I done seen so many niggas who talk like finesse that pimp shit, and I break a hole, and I do. That's the same shit young boy was talking. But look at him sucker stroke. He was talking that pimp shit, too. But look at him crying on, in public. The right woman to have any nigga fucked up, man. That pussy a bad motherfucker, man. So, you know, I'm telling you, both y'all niggas in the, in the wrong, in a sense, right? I don't know y'all relationship. But if y'all niggas not that tight, and this is not your main woman, bro, NBA young boy, you out of line like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the entertainment business. The business that you in, man, this the type of shit that go on every day, bro. You can't... You know, you always talk about fucking another nigga, bitch, all the time. That's all you talk about, bro, and talk about fuck a hoe. I done seen it come out your mouth, like niggas crying over hoes and this and this. I done, I done seen your young ass talk that shit, nigga. Now it's your turn. Now you over this motherfucker crying like a motherfucker. And like you say, okay, I heard you say on there, I, I think I believe I'm right. That this not a bitch, this your wife. Okay, you feel disrespected and slighted. You, that mean you gonna get on TV, nigga? Out of all the pussy you done had, out of all the baby mamas you done had, this motherfucker pussy so good that you get on the motherfucking TV and damn near crash out and call a nigga all out his name. You can start a motherfucking war over that shit. Over some pussy, my nigga. Over a nigga, say, over a nigga texting your baby mama on TikTok. I'm not texting, but liking pictures, man. Over a nigga liking some motherfucker. Now, nigga, I'm the same way, bro. I can't point a finger at a nigga and I was like that. But I'm like that. More, more likely to a nigga that I know. You know what I'm saying? If I if a nigga I know play me like that, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in the motherfucking industry, I'm getting money. I'm supposed to be this gangster out here. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucking nigga. You, you, you gonna cut into a nigga about that shit, man. See, some things, sometimes, bro, in certain situations, you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta have some type of coof about yourself, bro. You can't just be looking that fucking bad out here, man. You calling this man everything under the motherfucking sun, talking about you would do this and that to him over some, over, 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 because he likes some shit on TikTok, bro. Now, the world gonna tell you that you fucked up. You suck a stroker, you a whole ass nigga for that shit. That's what the world gonna say. But most niggas will feel the same way about that girl if they love him. But the problem becomes when you niggas to act and put this front up like you so tough and you don't give a fuck about a bitch when it, when in reality this is how niggas like, just like you be feeling on the inside you know what I'm saying nigga I, I, like I say bro I, I can't say shit too much I can't I can't say uh hold on I got I got uh, I'm hitting now you want the trunk I can't say too much about go it did it hit I can't say too much about shit Cause I done been down that road, my nigga. I told you, I done made, I, I done made motherfucking Michigan's most wanted behind my baby mama, my nigga, beefing with some niggas. So I ain't even gonna go there and perp. I know the feeling, man. But my thing is this: like I said, y'all, both y'all boys getting money. I like the way finesse played it at the end. Like, bro, I don't want no smoke. That took a lot of pride for a man to say, look, man, I don't want to die over a chick. I don't know if he being sarcastic, but he being real. But he, what he telling you, what he telling NBA young boy, he is real as a motherfucker. He telling him the right shit. He telling him like, look, bro, you gonna, you gonna, so you gonna come kill me and do life in fucking prison behind a chick that 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 is gonna do whatever the fuck she wanna do anyway. Listen to me, young nigga. What he was telling you was exactly right. He didn't tell you nothing wrong, man. That's what it is, because at the end of the day, dog, it's her decision. You, you you on his head when one of them niggas you hanging around every day, your main man might be texting this motherfucker, bro. That's how the world go. You don't know. You mad at this nigga who you kind of got a so what relationship with because you said, hey, you sending all these things to me like do better and do good shit to him. Then he trying to backdoor you and holler at your hoe. That's the way the world go, young nigga. That's the way it is. These niggas is cutthroat. Motherfuckers ain't your friends, so live and learn from this shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Live and learn from this shit. That's how these motherfuckers is, bro. You caught it. Keep on, but you'll be surprised how many motherfuckers that you feed that that do that shit, my nigga. So, but at the end of the day, it's all on her. Is she gonna react to that, man? As long as she look good, bro. As long as she breathing, I don't give a fuck if she don't look good. She can be fat, five hundred pound, ugly black, albino, beach whale, or she can be a fucking tic tac. You know, ass her ass flat as a fuck. Somebody hollering at her. So don't think just, you know, because you got a bad chick that niggas said. Niggas holler at these ugly motherfuckers, too. These you know, out-of-shape motherfuckers, too. You don't have to have a BBL. Nigga, niggas, as long as it's a hole and a heartbeat, a nigga gonna holler at it. The three H's. That's, I'm telling you the fucking truth, man. So, like, I like what Finesse said about that shit. I like the way he kicked it with you, man. Like, look, bro, this, this is the way he teaching you a lesson, bro. I had to learn the hard way as a young nigga. You know what I'm saying? But... I still don't like that shit to the day, man. Don't backdoor me. So I understand where you where you coming from with it. Like, nigga, no, I fuck with you, nigga. And you gonna do this shit? That's some whole shit. I understand. I see, I understand you, man. A lot of these niggas gonna, you know, just be like you, you know, try to nail you to the cross about it. But I've been there and I've done that. So I understand the feeling of betrayal. You more hurt that he done that and he's supposed to be your, your buddy or whatever, bro. But, man, nigga, listen, bro. If you think that's something, keep living, dog. It's going to happen way more, you know, shit. It's probably worse than that shit happening, going on right now. And like I say, I just want to know, you know, what did the girl tell you that? You What did she say? Did You know what I'm saying? Did she instigate this shit and say, hey, look, your man trying to holler at me. I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe she wanted some attention from you or whatever. I don't know how. I, did. I don't know if you stalked her shit, went through her phone and found the shit or just what. But liking the picture, I wouldn't have got thrown off by it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he trying to cut into her or whatever, okay, that's different. You had every right to be mad. But I think that should have been more of a phone call. That's just my opinion, bro. I'm not saying what you should, you know, you do what the fuck you want to do. But y'all shouldn't be out here on public TV, man, talking all that shit, bro. Because both of y'all niggas got too many enemies. You know what I'm saying? You will fuck around and get this man a life sentence. If a nigga hit you right now, you got a thousand enemies and in reverse. All the beef and this guy with different niggas, bro, and you you the last nigga making threats. And you know the police already, the feds probably all over your head because you NBA young boy. Everybody think you a serial fucking killer for some reason. So now nah, finesse go today out in Dallas or wherever the fuck he from out that way and somebody hit his ass up. And first thing they saying, that's NBA young boy again. You know, because I'm pretty sure half these murders that they happened, they ain't had nothing to do with you, but they giving you the... You see what I'm saying? You know how many murders they saying the NBA young boy has something to do with, and you probably ain't had nothing to do with none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, man, this shit can go a long way. It can get out of control, and that'd be sad for y'all niggas, rich niggas, getting money, doing well for yourself, and crash out over some shit like that, bro. Listen, it don't matter what he say to her. If, if, if she bout what she bout and she yours, it ain't nothing he can do. But like I say, I like the way Finesse handled it. Like he said, I'm about to go back and I'm about to undo all that shit. I'm sorry. I apologize, y'all nigga. That's gangster, bro. So it's best to just leave that shit alone and keep pushing. That's coming from my older nigga, dog. I'm telling you, I done been there, done that. I done been in your shoes. I done suck a stroke. A lot of niggas ain't going to admit to that shit. But you know what I'm saying? But I have done it. Ask about me. I done, I told you, I done made Michigan most wanted, my nigga, over some shit like that. So I'm, I'm with you. I don't play that, them whole games, especially about something I love, my nigga. You know, all these niggas talk all that tough gangster shit, and, and they, them niggas be hoes too because when the shit is in reverse, see, a lot of niggas like to talk that pimp shit and player shit and act like they, they want to fuck on every nigga hoe. Every time you turn your back, they want to fuck a nigga bitch. But when that shit happen to them, they want to blow their motherfucking brains out. That's like a nigga out here cheating on this hoe all the time. Every day he turn around, he cheating on this bitch, cheating on the cheating on the cheating on it. This bitch go out and get some pussy away one motherfucking time, trying to break his heart, and this nigga can't take it and kill himself. You know how many times I done seen that shit? That's real talk. So, yeah, leave that bullshit alone, man. Y'all niggas doing good. You know, y'all both need to really apologize to each other. Finesse apologize, bro. Just calm it down and talk it out. And if y'all ain't gonna fuck with each other, don't fuck with each other. But all that beef shit is unnecessary, man, especially over the internet like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, y'all can cause yourself a lot more trouble than y'all can getting money. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already rich. Y'all don't need no fucking views over this bullshit. Y'all, y'all, y'all the real money getters. Y'all the big time rappers, bro. Y'all don't gotta 
fake and argue to get fucking views like some of these guys. Some of these guys got to beef and argue with each other to run numbers up. Y'all numbers is up anyway. You know what I'm saying? The best thing y'all niggas need to do is do music together. And I'm just being on the positive note, man. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. Boy, hey, Trap Talk Blue. So make sure if y'all like what y'all hear, hit that like, subscribe, and make sure y'all share this shit.